In the early 1800s, Negroes were not allowed to attend public schools in Franklin County. The law of 1829 stated, Black and mulatto persons were not permitted to attend public school, but all taxes assessed on their property for school purposes were to be appropriated by township. In other words, black families would pay for school, but their children were not allowed to attend school. But hold up! In 1836, black people took it into their own hands and created a school in the southern part of the city near Peter's Run. In that year, they organized a school society with David Jenkins, B. Roberts, and C. Lewis as trustees. Several years later, on August 31, 1840, a colored school with 63 scholars enrolled. On September 7, 1840, the School Fund Association of the Colored People of Ohio met and they finally received withdrawal of the color line from the schools. Now the act on February 24, 1848 would authorize cities to establish schools for black children, but another act in 1853 required boards to distribute funds to each district based on the number of children enrolled. If the school district had more than 30 blacks, they could qualify to build separate institutions. This new law would cause much enthusiasm among black people, making the new conversation in the African American community, the value of education, and how to enroll your children into school. <laughs>